Images of what appears to be a new unmanned strike drone have emerged from Russia. The aircraft is believed to be the Sukhoi Okotnik heavy strike drone under development since 2011. Okotnik is designed to strike targets on the ground in support of manned aircraft, destroying air defenses and headquarters units. The images first appeared on Russian social media depicting cockpit-free, single-engine flying wing aircraft. The drone is clearly built for stealth but lacks certain stealth features. It appears studded with what are likely antennas for testing purposes, and the engine nozzle is unshrouded and exposed. Ultimately Okotnik will feature the use of composite materials and an anti-radar skin coating to further reduce its radar signature. There appears to be some heat blur behind the engine, radiating upward, to indicate that the aircraft's turbofan engine is active. The drone is officially known as Udano Razvedi Vitel Nubes Pilot Ni Complex, or Strike Reconnaissance Unmanned Complex. Okotnik was designed as a 20-ton combat aircraft, an impressive size considering the American F-A-180F Super Hornet weighs 16 tons empty and includes a cockpit and life support systems for a pilot. The Russian government signed a development deal with the Sukhoi Design Bureau in 2011 at which time the drone was described as a 6th generation aircraft powered by two non-afterburning Klimova D33 MK engines or a single Sukhoi Su-57 engine. The presence of a single-engine nozzle indicates Okotnik went the latter route. Okotnik reportedly has a top speed of 621 miles an hour. Okotnik will be a fully autonomous drone. That is, it will be able to take off, accomplish its mission, and land without human interference. Weapons use will require human approval, maintaining a man in the loop, who can critically analyze a combat situation and if necessarily abort an attack. Okotnik will pioneer the development of a combat artificial intelligence system that will eventually go into Russia's sixth generation fighter. Okotnik development was carried out at the Novosibirsk-based Shkalov aviation plant and according to Russian state media has been carrying out ground runway tests since Thanksgiving 2018. In November TASS reported that the next step after runway testing was will include so-called jumps. The aircraft will briefly take off and land almost immediately. Once those trials are over, the drone will make its maiden flight. TASS has further reported flights would begin in spring this year.